Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. Today I'll be creating candle holders made out of Dollar Tree picture frames. And I will be making a total of three candle holders today. That white one is there because I couldn't find a fourth one, so I had to spray paint that one gold. But today I'll be showing you how I made the 5 by 7 candle holder. I first started off by removing the glass out of each frame. Um, and I later realized that I should not um, glue the glasses in the frame only because later on I want to be able to go back and take the um, glasses out and clean them. So don't glue the frames in. I'm just showing you what I did and letting you know that you shouldn't do it. Next, I took one of the frames and I traced it on top of this mirror. Y'all, excuse the mirror, it's a little dirty. It's got glue on it and I was like, I am not, I'm not doing this today. So I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm making squiggle lines from the bottom to the top of this uh, rectangle. There's really no wrong way to do this because you can always correct your mistakes. But as long as you're making squiggly motions from the bottom to the top, um, you'll be fine. And while I'm doing this, I'm trying to um, make sure I'm going in different direction and overlapping the other lines. And the hot glue is basically going to dry on top of the glass and we're going to peel this off when we're done. When I got done with the lines, I filled in the bottom because I wanted that part to be a little thicker so I can peel it off. I let the glue dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and when it was done, I went ahead and peeled the glue off of the mirror. I made sure I peeled it off carefully, um, but if you do mess up, you can put the piece back on the glass and put some more glue on there and just peel it back up again. And this is how it looked when I peeled it off. And I went ahead and pulled off the extra strings that were attached. Well, most of them. And then later on, I'm going to show you how I got the rest of them off. I then took the pieces outside and spray painted them metallic gold. And this is how they look when I brought them back in. I then took a lighter and went behind uh, the piece and burned off all the extra glue After that was done, I took my pieces and I glued it to the picture frame um, using hot glue.
Now that all the pieces are done, I'm going to put them together to form the candle holder. And I will be using a combination of hot glue and adhesive glue from the Dollar Tree. After both pieces were dry, I connected them together. Next, I cut a piece of foam board to fit the bottom of the candle holder and I'm going to cover it with this gold adhesive paper. And now I'll be attaching it to the bottom using my hot glue gun. And this is how it looked inside. And here's how all three look together. They look so pretty and this was super easy. Let me know in the comments what you all think of this DIY. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And please go subscribe to my other DIY page where I will be recreating fashion trends and there'll be music on there and more. See you later, Glitter Babes. I love you guys.